video, we are going to cover some more advanced tips and tricks in Wii Video. The first tip deals with custom audio levels. If you watched our basic editing video, you'll know there are a few ways to adjust the overall audio level of a single clip or timeline level. There is also a way to give a single clip different audio levels throughout. First, click on the clip you'd like to change the audio on. Notice this blue line. This is the audio level. There are two dots on each side of the clip. You can click and drag these to make a gradual fade in the audio. Click anywhere along the blue line and it will create another dot to adjust the audio. Double click this dot to get rid of it. This is really useful when having background music throughout a whole clip, kind of like this video. Just like you can customize audio levels throughout a single clip, you can control different fade or opacity levels in an image or video. The only difference here is the line representing the opacity of an image is green instead of blue. To view this line, click this icon. You can check fade to have Wii Video automatically put a fade in and out of clip. While there is a cross fade transition you can put between clips, being able to customize opacity can be really useful specifically for graphics. Another unique feature of a premium Wii Video account is the ability to use green screen tools. To access this, edit the clip that includes the green screen. For this example, I'll be using one of the stock media clips that includes a green screen. When you're in the editing screen, navigate to the color key tab. Here you can click the eyedropper tool and then click the color you'd like to eliminate in your video. We video will then automatically eliminate that color and make it transparent so any layers below can show through. There are also a few sliders you can use to refine the eliminated color. The next tip deals with animations. Now animations were mentioned in our basic editing video, but I'm going to show you two examples specifically on how you can use this. For the first example, I'm going to use the animation tab to make graphics move across the screen. For this example, I'll use the arrow graphic which can be found in the text tab under callouts. You can make it so the arrow moves from off of the screen to the place on the screen that it points at. Here is the final result. For my second example, I'm going to be using the animations tab to add a Ken Burns effect on a still image. This is where we can slightly make the picture move across the screen to enhance depth for the viewer. You can change the start or end of an image by increasing the scale slightly. You can even drag it slightly off center if you want to. Here we'll increase the scale of the image at the start of the animation but leave the end animation untouched. Here you can see the final product that gives the image a nice effect of slowly zooming out of the picture. Now those are just a few tips and tricks for Wii Video. If you have any additional questions on what was covered in this video, make a tech bar appointment at techbar.night.domains. Remember to check out our other videos on Wii Video linked in the description below. Thanks for watching!